Presto Player released their new playlist functionality, and while it works and is quite easy to use in the block builder, which is kind of where Presto and all of uh, Adam's products are kind of geared towards these days, it's a little tougher to use with the shortcode. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use this shortcode right here to create something that looks more like this. To get started, I'm going to copy this big short code here. We'll make a lot of sense of this in just a second. So we're going to copy this short code and we're going to go into our page builder of choice. I use Thrive Architect. So I've put together just a little page. I'm going to use this demo um, for a support video section. I've got um, templates and design packs that I sell for a tool called Thrive Suite. So I'm going to build a page that holds all of my support videos. And instead of a user having to scroll through a whole page, they're all going to be in a really handy Presto Player playlist. So this is really easy to do. All I'm going to do in my builder is add a text element here. And again, it's going to vary depending on uh, what page builder you're using. We're just looking to insert a short code. So I'll just paste in my short code. And now let's take a look at these different elements in the short code because it can be overwhelming. The first thing you need to do when using this short code is not just hit save and then preview it because if you do, it'll be blank because by default, they've put in some video IDs here. You can see one, two and three in this demo where it says presto player item id equals those are the video ids of your presto player videos by default these may not align with any videos on your site in fact if i click preview you'll see that nothing shows up because there are no videos with those ids so to remedy that we need to go into presto player so I'm going into Presto Player Media Hub, and mine looks like this because I use a plugin called Happy Files. I have a video about that here on my channel that you can check out. It helps me organize my Presto Player videos into topics. So these are the videos that I want to add to my video playlist. And you can see here, there it is. There's the short code for this video. And sure enough, there's the ID right there. So the first ID I'm going to add in is for me, 4642. So I'm just going to copy that ID, come back into where my short code is, find my first video and paste in that number. I'm gonna repeat that process here. I'm gonna grab the second one, which for me is 4641. I'm going to find the second video ID, paste that in. And then I'm going to repeat that process for each of my videos. For me, I only have three in this playlist. For you, you might have more, but repeat this process until you have all of them input. And then let's save that and let's refresh our preview and we'll see that now our playlist shows up. However, it kind of looks ugly by default, at least in my opinion. I want to make some visual changes to this. I think this gray border is too big. I don't like the purple, the black. It doesn't match my brand colors. Obviously course playlist doesn't make sense and three courses doesn't make sense. So let's customize this. So coming back in and looking at the short code here, we have course playlist as the heading. And if I jump back here, you can see it says right here, course playlist. Let's fix that to say support videos or something like that. And if I save that and then refresh on the front end, there it is, it automatically says support videos. And now we need to change three courses to say something else. So here where it says list text singular equals course, I'm going to put video and plural, I'm going to put videos. Let's save and preview that. Three videos, perfect. Now let's come back into our short code and here we see transition duration equals 10. That is the duration between changing videos if I reach the end of a particular video. So let's go ahead and go to the end of this video, press play, and then you can see here, it's going to take a few seconds to transition to the next video. And there it goes. That was about 10 seconds. And now the next video is by the way playing, so it does transition automatically into playing the next video, and that was about 10 seconds. That's probably comfortable enough, so I'll leave that at 10 seconds, but if you wanted that to be a little bit faster or slower, you can adjust that here by obviously lowering or increasing this number. Now the next element here is styles, and you have this highlight color equals purple. That's pretty easy for us to identify. There it is, there's purple. I don't want that color to be purple. I want it to be my brand color, but my brand color doesn't have an easily identifiable name. Well, that's fine. We can simply add in hex code here. So I'll put in a pound sign and I'm going to put in the hex code for my brand blue. There we go. 
there's my brand blue. I'll save that. Let's take a look at what that affected on the front end. And there we go. Now it's my brand blue. While white text works on this dark background, I don't really want to keep that dark background. So we'll skip over white for one second and we'll go to the next one that says background equals black. So I'm going to change this black to something more like this gray color back here. So I'm going to again highlight where it says black. I'm going to put in the pound sign and then I'm going to put in my hex code for the color that I would like it to be, which is like a gray. And white doesn't really work either. So I'm going to change white to a kind of like a darker color. Maybe I'll use the same color that I use in my heading up here. And now I'm going to click save and let's preview that again. So there we've made two changes. I changed this background to more of like a gray blue and I changed the text color here to be a darker color where it says customization and conclusion. And you can see that they automatically here have the highlighted video text be a light color, which I think is great because it makes a lot of sense that it's light on dark. Coming back into our video playlist short code, we have another line here that says playlist border radius 48 pixels. The radius is the rounded corner effect. I think it's too round, so I'm going to come back in here and instead of 48 pixels, I'm going to change that to 12 pixels. And at the same time, I'm going to change the border from being 17 pixels, which is quite a thick border. I'm going to change that to be three pixels and I'm going to save my work and come back over, refresh, and you can see, in my opinion, it's already looking a lot better but I think it's still too thick on the border. So I'm gonna come back and change that from three pixels to two. And I'm going to change the border color. And instead of being their gray, I want to make it my same gray that I used on the background of that section. So let's come in here and sure enough, there isn't actually a border color. We have Presto Player, or we have Presto Playlist Border Radius and Presto Playlist Border Width. Let's copy this here where we have the two dashes, presto player, or sorry, presto playlist, border width. Let's just copy this whole thing. Don't copy the quotes, but let's copy until from the two dashes to the semicolon. Let's copy that. And let's put a space after it and paste in. And we're going to change this width on the one we just copied to color. So we have presto playlist border color, and let's change that to match our background color or whatever color you want. I'm going to replace the two picks with my color there. So now we have this right here, Presto Playlist Border Color, which was not in the short code they gave by the way, but I just played around with it and figured it out. If I save my work and refresh my demo here, you can see now that the border is no longer the gray that matches their design, but the gray that matches mine and it's very subtly outlining the left-hand side of the video. Just to show you what that looks like, let me make this like a really obvious black color. Save that, refresh, and you can see there it is. It's, it's the outline color there. Change that back for my design, and now we'll continue. So now it's time to change our videos. Here, the videos have been given names manually by the shortcode, introduction, customization, conclusion. Those do not match my videos, and these run times do not match my videos either. Going back into our Presto Player Media Hub, my first video is how to use design packs. So I'll just conveniently copy that title, come back into my short code, and the title here is going to be how to use design packs. And the duration on that first video is six minutes and 26 seconds. So that's about six and a half minutes. So I'll come back in here to my short code and I'll change it from two minutes to be six minutes, maybe I'll just leave it at six minutes and click save work and let's see what happened there. How to use design packs, perfect. And there it is, six minutes. Now, if you wanted to do the seconds, so six minutes, 26 seconds, you could come in here and say six min 26 S and click save, preview that. And you can see it brings it over just fine. I think in a case like this to keep it looking cleaner, I think a shorter version looks better just approximate how long it's going to be. If it's maybe under six and a half minutes, say six minutes, and if it's over six and a half minutes, maybe say seven, just for an approximation. And now I have all of my videos inside of my playlist. And that's how we use the Presto Player playlist shortcode to customize it and use it anywhere on our WordPress websites.